between the 15th and 17th of January 2018, two players of the I-League club Minerva Punjab were allegedly offered Rs 30 lakh in a match-fixing attempt. Minerva are at the top position in the I-League this season. The players were offered the money to deliberately lose games. On January 18th, club owner Ranjit Bajaj immediately reported this to the AIFF Integrity Officer. A NewsClick team spoke to Ranjit Bajaj to get more details as well as understand what a sum like Rs 30 lakh could potentially mean to these players. Yeah, so our honour code uh, is that a Minerva never, never lies, cheats or steals or even tolerates anybody who does. And this is also the honour code in, uh, which we put off in the Shetford building in IMA and also uh, in the US military academy this is right there. Um, that's where the match fixing thing happened and people were asking me why would you do this and put all the pressure on yourself in the middle of the season mm. because you know this can really distract your players. So I told them that there is no, they, they, I didn't have a choice, it's, it's, there's no choice, it's not like I'm part honest, there's nothing known as part honest, either you're honest or you're not. Mm. And if this happens, there's, there's, there's no grey area, there's black or white, yeah. so you have to do it, simple as that. Mm. And the boys know that, they've been from day one, being all their classes and all their uh, motivational classes, they hap it happens in the same room. And when they see that this is the philosophy we live by, mm. then, you know, passing this every day in a, when you're eating food in the mess or when you're sitting in your hostels and you're, in your sitting in your rooms, these posters are all over. You can't be living in this place and be a dishonest person. It just doesn't work. First, firstly, I would like to say that I'm really shocked and disturbed about this fact which has come out, that this is the first in the history of Indian football. I don't believe it's the first. Yeah, we're the first ones to report in the history of Indian football a match-fixing offer. But trust me, they've been match-fixing offers earlier. And they've come out. Like the Mumbai FC thing came out and the Rainbow and Tolligan Grami thing came out last to last 2013 CFL. These things were there. So I'm really shocked that no club, no official, no player has ever reported this kind of a thing. Or if they have, the club has not further gone and done it. Because if this was done 10 years ago, when the first time it happened 15 years ago, we start now basically. Why? Because I reported it now. Mm. But this should have been done 15 years ago. Mm. So this, it was a very shocking thing because last year I was there, nobody tried to fix my matches because we were coming ninth. Mm. This year I never thought that, you know, I was very careful. I have heard of these things. I took it very seriously. I never thought it was going to happen. Mm. But when this, when one of my players came to me and said, this is the kind of call he's got, I still thought, because it's a local number, I still thought, okay, maybe, you know, Somebody is just trying to, you know, play a prank and this like that. Then the next day, my foreigner comes to me and tells me that he's got a WhatsApp message after he, somebody's befriended him properly, taken pains to befriend him on Facebook, and then done it on WhatsApp and then given him a proper offer with 30 lakh rupees, which says gives an amount and says let's meet up and so I can give you the first amount. Mm. That shocked me. So then I knew that this was serious. But then, on top of that, next day after that, when my Indian player got a call from the same number as my foreigner got, then I knew it was guaranteed it was a proper fixing offer because it's the same party trying to get to any Minerva player. Yeah. Now, um, the only silver lining is that my players came to me immediately. And I'm so, so happy and so proud today as a team owner or even as their, they call me their mentor, so even as their mentor because they've, this is something a mentor would love to find in his boys mm. that they have taken something which I regard as the number one thing is like they say honesty is the best policy I don't think it's a policy you can't have it as a policy either you're honest or you're not so it's not a policy you adopt or adapt okay honesty is not the best policy honesty is you're honest and I think now because of this at least this will not affect my team anymore. Nobody will be able to fix any of my matches. So that way we are safe. But at the same time, I'm really disappointed because uh, I really thought that the efforts of um, AFC, forget FIFA, forget AFF, because AFF apparently has never done this before and this is the first time. AFC has dealt with this all their lives. So if I have complained to AFC yeah. and their response is so f epic that they have not contacted me for now, it's been almost a week. Mm. So they should have taken some strict action or they should have told AFF to do something about it. Mm. Because 
if now in India you've got a Aadhaar card, okay, and you only then you can get a mobile number. Yeah. So if you've got a mobile number, if it was some other kind of call, you could have traced the guy immediately, and you can get to the bottom of this. And they should make an example that AFF should be the ones lodging a case against these guys and taking it to the fullest extent. Yeah. To demonstrate how serious they how are. How serious they are. In fact, if there is any but any player from that team, may they can may come to know that these guys have already contacted some other players of other clubs who have accepted bribes or not accepted bribes but still not reported it or officials accepted not accepted but at least not reported it and then make examples out of those guys yeah. it means the world it means so much in, i mean like in my team we don't we're not a big team we don't pay that much okay and to my indian players who's getting a salary of 30000 rupees a month 30 lakh rupees is what he's going to earn in his entire life. That means for 10 seasons, if he does well, doesn't get any injuries, he might earn that much money. And he's being given that for one match. So, do you know how difficult a choice it is for him? Because he knows in India, no one's ever been caught for match fixing. No one's even reported it, man. So, it's that easy. So, and no one will, it's no one, no, there's no way to actually catch you because there's no unless exactly there's no no scrutiny on footballers at all then a foreigner then for even for a foreigner because he's just uh, these guys are here and they're not the big name foreigners they just trying to prove themselves here even for them it's a big thing because he can just say okay fine let me just take it and just let me get out of this country next year yeah. man i'm who's going to come back to india again so it's a really shocking thing and this amount is a life changing amount i mean um Especially for a footballer. And also the same, same question comes for match officials because the kind of salaries they're getting, they're not salaried from AIFF. Yeah. They're people who are doing jobs all over the place. Yeah. And they just get 10,000 rupees for a match. And they probably do two or three matches in a month. Mm. And they get, what, 30,000 rupees? So for them to do this and they know that all they have to do is give one wrong decision which is going to change the match, which is a penalty. And that's taken care of. Maybe, I'm just giving an example, maybe his daughter has cancer, okay? And it's not that he's a dishonest man, he's a corrupt man, but because his daughter has cancer, the only way to do it, circumstances, man. Same way with players, maybe his parents both are on the deathbed. And if he does this, he might save one of them. But if you look at it that way, that means you've given him an opportunity to do it, na? So if you put a position, person, why are you testing people? Why are you putting them in that position to see whether they're honest or not? This kind of thing, the accessibility, accessibility of players should be so hard. That means if the guys get there, they should be in lockdown. And the same way, the cricketers are controlled. Any sport which is on TV, you need to control the players. If you don't control the accessibility, gambling and these bookies and everything comes in. Simple as that. And this has been going on for donkeys of years now. Uh, like all Southeast Asia, you know. So yeah. they've been fixing matches, and even yeah, in Middle East, mi been, uh, <laughs> and the maximum number of bookies live in India, man. Not there. The biggest bookies live in India. And trust me, if they can fix cricket, international cricket matches, na, they can definitely fix Indian local matches easily. And if they if they think, which they're getting now, they they're getting a feeling that is very easy to fix football matches than cricket because there's no risk. I mean, the police also doesn't take any action, the, the state body doesn't take action, even if it's reported, nothing happens.